Okay. Hello, future engineers. Uh, I am Suman Patil from Valjan College of Engineering, Sangal. Today, I want to discuss about IPG Car Maker, main uh, graphic user interface, which is main dashboard where you can start learning your IPG Car Maker journey. Okay, with this. Yeah, right. Okay. So the main dashboard is in front of you, which is also called as uh, GUI. Okay, then um, we will go one by one. Basically, first of all, uh, let's uh, see what is CarMaker. The CarMaker is a virtual uh, test driving software where you can simulate your car. And the prerequisites are you should carry your car uh, parameters like parameters uh, having the specifications like just like dimensions your car weight your specification of your systems different systems uh, like steering system uh, braking suspension powertrain so all these things you need to carry with you uh, for the simulation uh, okay then uh, this car maker provides all these uh, features like you can simulate your car you can uh, you can see how your car performance is you can optimize your performance you can change your parameters and uh, again iterate it uh, to see uh, which parameter is giving you best performance and this is uh, really beneficial uh, because uh, it's not uh, feasible now to create a prototype and every time iterate it uh, okay so instead of that you can use this software and you can <clears throat> do your virtual test runs and get your results and optimize it okay so in front of you this uh, car maker uh, this window is for the sketch and there are options like car you can select your car you can select your car like from here but before that uh, let's uh, create one project okay so in the file uh, the first four options are for test runs test run is nothing but simulation point but it's it's the part of uh, uh, next step okay first step is to create a project folder and to create project folder let's come here and i want to name it as uh, let's uh, name it as demo show okay and i want to include all these features because i don't uh, I'm not going to share uh, the car parameters that I have made. Uh, I, I will uh, explain you in the default. So I will need extra models as well. So, okay. So this project will be loaded. And you will see its uh, directory in this head bar. Okay. So uh, demo show is uh, ready. This project is ready. And in that project, you can import a car okay uh, for now i don't have any my own car so it's not showing that it's showing blank here but if you add or create it it will be loaded here okay then in the product examples uh, you can get default like uh, for now if i import uh, tesla okay let's add tesla okay now okay i i have added it now if uh, you are uh, using any trailer, then you can also add trailer. But for now, I don't want to show you it. But you can do it here. Then in the tires, you can select a tire. Again, I'm doing this in uh, using all the default examples which are available. Uh, okay, you can generate your own tires as well. I will show you in uh, upcoming videos how to generate your tire. That is the part of tire generation. And the load, load is nothing but uh, the point where the load is acting. Like uh, if your driver is there, if you, if the passenger and the payload is there, then how much load is acting on which location? Uh, you can set it from here. Like it's 60 kg and it's uh, somewhere here, and its height is uh, it's uh, okay. It's, it's look. Let's keep it uh, 0.3 and Z as uh, oh, no, it's too much. Okay, it's too much. Okay, okay. The load is acting here, and this is how you can set. Okay, it's just for demonstration, but you can set the various uh, payload, uh, driver load, 
then the passenger weight okay and you can also uh, add trailer loads here okay then uh, the part the manual part is for uh, adding the commands for your driver like you can add new new command here and you can just set to ipg driver and having the speed for uh, 60 km per hour for 30 seconds okay this is the command okay then uh, the up here the part here is showing your sketch sketch of your vehicle okay if you created your own you can also add your own sketch here i will show it in the upcoming video as well and the simulation part here uh, in this box you can set the simulation speed like you can pause it you can point 0 0.2 0 0.5 real time you can watch you can do it 2x 3x 5x and max the status will show it is preparing it's running uh, it's idle okay then the time and distance will be shown here like uh, from the start how much time it is how much distance it is and in the storage of results uh, uh, the results that is the test and session log files will be stored and the collect only is i think uh, it's okay but you can choose like history 10 as 10 second 30 second 60 second etc okay and uh, to start any simulation uh, you need a road okay road not specified road not specified okay so for that uh, we need to uh, parameter the road like you can get the scenario scenario editor here okay so let's see scenario editor okay this is scenario editor i would like to add uh, one simple road here okay i'm adding simple road from this option okay this option road road segment and in the traffic here it is root okay so i'm adding a root okay so root is there mm. now uh, maybe your car will not will not be shown here okay if you are generating your own car okay that might be possible now the root and road is specified now let's start it i'm not showing ipg movie and the simulation uh, window because uh, i will cover that in next video but just see the status like it it ran for 30 second and uh, stop like again we will start it it prepared it it will it's running and then again stop okay so let's make it collect only okay again stop <clears throat> okay so uh, let's explore uh, more options now now in the file this is for test run you can save a test run okay this we have uh, run the simulation we have road and all sorry all and then uh, you can save your test run like this okay now let's save it as the demo show tesla okay then okay and this test run is uh, saved if you click new then it will new and if you want to open it you will see the revised test run here okay now uh from that it is uh is okay for test runs uh okay uh for the more part you can uh, always refer user manuals and all okay then data pools and all used for multiple devices after that uh, there are another windows like uh, ipg movies there ipg control is there instruments it's an instrument Okay, this, these are the instruments like you can get the, how much speed is there, how much uh, steering wheel angle is there, from which, uh, if it's hybrid, then the vehicle is running on which, it is running on battery or it is running on fuel. All these things you can uh, get from here. In the IPG movie, you can uh, see the visualization of your uh, car. In the IPG control, you can get the graphs of the performance, like you can set how much velocity, how much acceleration it is getting with respect to time. In the IPG kinematics, uh, it's about uh, suspension and the steering. You can uh, study how much uh, suspension and uh, steering is performing. Okay. In the applications, I think uh, direct variable access is really important. For the more uh, info, you can access the user manual. And the DVA, it is called DVA. It is it is uh, really important if you are participating in a competition because DVA is majorly uh, evaluation criteria so dva is also useful for adding external talks and all uh, 
it is basically uh, you can change any variable like you can change the uh, like external torque you can you can turn on your headlights your tail lights with this also okay let's see so there are these options okay so see brake there are a lot of options there in 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 driver you have a lot of options in steering okay so there's a lot of options you have to explore uh, in the user manual you have to try and then you will understand what it is and i think uh, other parts is not as useful for the beginner then in simulation i think session log is really important because the session log shows any if, if there is any warning of the, or if there is any error if it's error or vehicle leaves your road then the red error uh, will be shown here if there is in warning then yellow error will be shown here and if it's going smooth then all things will be green okay so that's in the simulation and also you can do the driver adaptation that's uh, advanced part okay you can uh, do it uh, referring user manuals as you, you have the special special manual like ipg driver and the tester manager is all for the multiple uh, test runs you can manage multiple test runs from here you will uh, generally see if you are participating in competitions the test run manager will help uh, them to show the different test runs from different teams then in the parameters okay this is uh, this is where you will work a lot okay you can set um, uh, your parameters like it is called car parameterization okay so in the car parameterization you will say uh, there are a lot of options and the inputs basically inputs uh, for your vehicle it's okay so vehicle data set first of all you have to go to file and then you have to go to generate okay generator and you can go here okay but uh, one advice is that if you are uh, using any demo already don't go here okay because if it's example then it will not generate so for that you need to what you need to close it all okay you need to select yes then you need to go and deselect okay so okay it will be deselected now you can uh, select here and then uh, no, okay now it's done uh, then you can go to car parameterization then you can file you can generate okay you can edit all these things okay Dep dependent on then you can generate it okay and uh, the vehicle will be generated a few seconds okay now vehicle is generated all the specifications will be shown here then we have different uh, different options and inputs required for your vehicle okay i will cover it in another video you have to input your body you have to input your you have to do inputs of your suspension system specifications steering tires brake powertrain sensors and uh, after that you need to go to file and then you need to save it okay i hope it is saved okay close okay now it's saved it will be saved as per the name you entered while generating your vehicle now i think that's enough for introduction of car parameterization and uh, you can also uh, do the specification of your trailer you can also uh, change your tires from here you can also generate tire from here i will cover it uh, cover another video called uh, tire generation on this topic like you can because see uh, many times it's not possible that your tire will be available in the default inventory of ip because it's it's here you can get you can see many examples are there already okay many examples are there maybe possible that your tire is not available here but you can generate it Uh, after the tires there is sensor cluster if you are using any sensors you can add here and as i shown scenario editor is useful for creating roads and its uh, its scenario like its environment in the manuals manuals are basically used to give commands to the driver and then the input from file you can input directly all these things like okay that will be i think it it's not it should not be covered in the beginners lecture but you can do it uh, from user manuals and the load as i said it's used for 
giving the location of the point loads and the traffic is useful when uh, you want to add another vehicles running by yourself okay and the environment is basically uh, these all these things and, and these do uh, affect your performance okay affect your vehicle performance so that's what i want to say and the error ending and additional parameters okay uh, these are uh, i think it's core part so i will not cover it in, uh, in this and basically you will not need to do uh, additional coding or that for the competitions like Baha and if you cycle you can uh, simply use the options uh, available by default and uh, many times uh, the instructor instructions are also given as keep it by default few things uh, we need to change like we need to add our car parameters and all however uh, we don't need to code and all at the beginner level and uh, in the settings you can do auto start ipg like auto start instruments because as as i clicked on this uh, car maker it just opened this window but if you auto start it will beside uh, side by side open the car maker and the scenario editor car maker and the ipg control okay and uh, in help uh, this is really uh, useful because i generally uh, uh, faced um, actually every beginner faced the same issue as the car maker is commercial software and it's not uh, made like it's it's not easy to use at the first time you need to get familiar with it and you will really definitely face many challenges while working on it and this user can user guides uh, this referral manuals and the ip driver manual ipg movie manuals these really help a lot uh, when you are having any uh, issue with the software or if you are having any problem while setting any command okay so okay these these are the user manuals okay and okay and i would like to show you the user interface of ipg movie as well okay so let's see okay 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 yeah this is ipg movie okay uh for now it's it's not it uh what i can say i will not explain it in detail Okay, we will cover another video on that and this is for ipg control okay this is ipg control where this is graph area and you can add y and z axis and the databases and all i will also cover another uh, video on this topic okay so that's it for now thank you for watching stay tuned